All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is John Hammond, showcasing the Junior CTF Capture Flag competition that was going on uh, over the last week. Uh, so, Dirty Repo. This was another uh, forensics challenge. It was a little bit harder, um, and I guess higher up in their difficulty range. Uh, 500 points still, because not many people had been able to solve it, or whatever the scoring fluctuates is. Um, so, is it Grunkle Sand loves his money? Blah, blah, blah. Um... The Zealous Fighter for Justice, I just spoil one developer's project. Try to find out what the Mellow Factor added. Here are all the developer's projects. So we get this working directory, is this download link, uh, and it's a zip archive. So, oh, file download limit exceeded. Okay, we can only do that. So uh, this was also another, like, difficulty that a bunch of people had while they were, like, playing the CTF. So thankfully I still have the archive. Uh, let me get it. So I'm going to create a new folder here. Just call it Dirty Repo. And just paste in the tar uh, object here. In our terminal, we can start to work with it. You would have downloaded the same thing, just with a GZ extension, so you can just gun zip it, and that's how you would actually be able to extract it. And um, then you can just tar extract it with tar XFV, I guess. And then we'll just crank it out. So now we have a bunch of other archives. So great. Let's gun zip everything that is a, a zip archive. Okay, so now we have all these TARs, and we can TAR XF all of those. And let's not get everything, so let's actually just get the comp. Comp grip. And extract those. Oh. Let's do... Okay, cool. So now we have everything extracted. That works well. Um... So if you just go into one of these, um, these are OpenVPN. I was very confused with, and apparently it just looks like the source code for OpenVPN. Like, I literally just looked at the README file for a little bit. It's like, okay, wow, this is seriously the source code for OpenVPN. So we have a ton of these, right? If you check out um, Comp2, it's the exact same stuff. <laughs> and that goes the same for all of the other things. So I'm assuming, okay, we now have like 20 or so um, actual archives that have different codes in them, or the same code, although there's one difference in them. So it's our job to find out what the difference is. So what I did is I actually ran this through with diff, and if you take a look at the diff man pages, it can actually find recursive stuff. Like it can work through an entire directory. Uh, dash R, dash lowercase r, I think it is. Let me find dash R. Yeah, 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 dash R, recursive. Recursively compare any subdirectories found. So we can just crank that out, right? I use comp1 as my initial test, so I grip out all the comp ones. Um, and let's get rid of the tars, actually. Okay, so now, while I read line, what I can do is I can take the diff of comp1 and the what I'm looking at, and let's pass in the R's to recursively look through it, and let's go done. And, hey, we see one difference, <laughs> which is in this source code file in, in comp1, and... Uh, in, in comp 5, it looks like. It looks like there's a, a, a new line in there. Uh, line 132 or, or 133 has, uh, has has a new comment called flag. Grunkle Stan, the worst coder. So, boom. That, <laughs> that's it. There's our flag. All we did was we diffed a bunch of different directories. <laughs> so, sweet, right? Uh, what I ended up doing in, in, in real life was I ended up using like, S so I could see like all the information and I took through that and I grabbed out what not what was not identical and then it tells me oh straight there it is right there I had used Q for quiet when I did this frugal thing because I just found that line on Stack Overflow and it says okay these are the ones that differ so this is the interesting file so I had catted that out and just grabbed lowercase flag and there's a bunch of stuff in there but I could see, just the very top here, hey, here's this comment, flag is this. But honestly, this, <laughs> without it, it you, you still get the flag, just without those other uh, arguments to diff, to like try and use quiet or stuff like that. You just literally just get 
the one difference and it gives you the solution here so that wasn't too bad right it was there's a lot to look through but if you automate it with like some bash and uh some some diff then you're done the work is the work is easy so you submit this and i mean 500 points cool cranked it out so thanks for watching guys hope that one was kind of cool it looks like we had 20 different folders that we just like easily looped through them and that's awesome so uh hope you guys are enjoying these um, I'll record some more of the other later challenges that I had solved, and maybe I'll be able to get a few more before the game ends. Uh, there's like uh, a day left, so uh, I don't know. I'll see you in a later video.